to KanatLink.org YouTube channel. I'm Freya, and today we're going to go over 12117 Target 8, which was the final problem of our 2021 Middle School State Championship Target Round. Let's begin. A 20-sided regular polygon, A1, A2, A3, all the way up to A20, has area 120. What is the area of the octagon A2, A3, A4, A5, A17, A18, A19, A20? This problem is pretty short, there aren't many words, so it doesn't seem too intimidating, except that it's a lot to digest. That said, what do we do with any geometry problem? What we always want to do is start by drawing a diagram. Words are hard to deal with. Pictures are easier. We can process pictures more easily, so let's do that. I have pre-drawn a diagram. Behold! So we have our octagon, sorry, our octagon that we want to find the area of A2, A3, A4, A5, A17, A18, A19, A20, that's in blue. We have our whole 20-sided polygon shown in red. And, well, what is this white thing? So we have a 20-sided regular polygon. That's key. In fact, all regular polygons are cyclic. In other words, we can circumscribe a circle around the polygon. So A1, A2, all the way up to A20 are on this white circle. What we'll call it center up. So one thing we might want to think about now is what are these white dotted lines? Well, A1 and A11 are diametrically opposite, so it's just a diameter going through O. And because this is an even number of sides, and then A2, A12, A3, A13, all the way down. So these white dotted lines are all diameters. They all pass through O. That's going to be important later. So, how are we going to find the area of this blue thing? I mean, that's the challenge, right? So, let's see. One thing you might remember from combinatorics problems is something called complementary counting, which is, for instance, we want to find some sort of probability, and we realize that it's easier to find the probability of the thing that we don't want, and then we do one minus that to find the probability that we actually want. We're going to do something similar here. We know that this whole 20-sided polygon has area 120, so we can just go through and do 120 minus everything that's not part of the octagon and find the area of the octagon in that way. So let's do it. So remember when I mentioned that thing about those diameters? So we can start by actually just drawing one of these. We can start with A17, and I'm going to do that in green all the way down to A7. So what I've done with this diameter actually is not just split the circle in half, but also split the octagon, not the octagon, the 20-sided polygon in half. So that means that this area of A7 all the way up to A17, this bottom half, is area 120 divided by 2, which is equal to 60. All right, so 120 minus 60, and let's see what else we can subtract out now. Well, we can see that we have this O, A5, A6, A7, and in fact, we can just draw this thing here. Anything passing by through O is nice to deal with because we can just take that fraction of the 20-sided polygon, similar to with a circle. So we can see that A5, A6, A7, that's two segments here, so this is actually going to be one tenth of the area of the entire, the entire twenty-sided polygon. So that one tenth of that area is going to be one twenty over ten, which is twelve. So now we can subtract out this purple area minus twelve, and then what else are we going to subtract out? We have these two triangles left, and they're kind of annoying to deal with. One of them is shaded in orange, a one, a two, a twenty. How are we going to find the area of that? Oh dear, that's going to be rough. Well, we can think about it like a puzzle. We're given some pieces, we may cut them up a bit. Okay, we don't usually cut up puzzle pieces, but you get the point. And then we want to make some nice shape out of it. So we can see this little tiny sliver actually appears a bit in this purple polygon over here. Here, so like A5, A6, A7. So, we can just kind of translate that over here. And now let's think about the rest of it. So about this big 
big triangle. We don't, again, we don't really know how to find the area of it, but we have some things in our diagram that we can add that may be a bit helpful. So I'm going to draw in a couple of things. So we can draw our height, our triangle, let's call this point P. And then we can also draw this radius OA6. So it turns out that OA6 and PA5 are actually parallel. And similarly, OP and A5, A6 are, are also parallel. Sorry, not A5, A6, but A5 to this point over here, let's call it Q, are also parallel. So what we have here is a rectangle. OPA5Q. And in fact, one of the diagonals of that rectangle is our very trusty OA5. So what can we do about that? We can move this area over here and see that they are equal. And similarly, we know that A17, PO, has the same area as that other triangle over here because this is a symmetric figure. And we can see that it has the same area as right here, this, this triangle over here, and then that in pink. So if we put this pink stuff over this pink triangle and over here, we can see that pink plus orange is going to be equal to 12. So that means that we can then subtract out another 12 from the 120, and then we're just left with the octagon that we want. So what's the area of the octagon? It's 120 minus 60 minus 12 minus 12. That's going to be 60 minus 24, and that was equal to 36. And we are done. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy this video. Hi, everybody. This is Tim. Hope you're enjoying our videos. If so, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that sort of thing. But what I'd really want to invite you to do is to send us an email at media at mathleague.org. Tell us which problems you'd like to see us cover next in our video series. Take care and see you in the next video.